Representative Cregan. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I, I have great reservations about this because of the geography of Hawaii Island. In the high parts of that uh, island, it's very rocky. And I, my interpretation and study of how cesspools and septic systems work is that the cesspools work almost like septic systems in those areas and actually uh, take care of the, the waste management thoroughly and without danger. In fact, I work for the State Department of Health for a year investigating disease outbreaks. And the only problems I ever saw was with overflowing septic systems where the tanks filled up and overflowed into other people's yards. I never saw one single cesspool that caused a problem on Hawaii Island. So in that, because of that, I'm voting with reservations. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much, Representative. Further discussion, members? Representative Lowen. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, in support. Se second time. Second time. Please proceed. Um, we're the last state in the nation in which construction of new cesspools is legal, and according to the EPA, cesspools are used more widely in Hawaii than any other state in the nation. Hawaii Island, to my knowledge, is the last county in the country still permitting new cesspools. And the parts of Hawaii Island where new cesspools are being permitted are often rural areas also served by individual shallow drinking water wells. And recent data does show that there have been cases of contamination of drinking water with human waste, which is very dangerous. Uh, not only can cesspools contaminate streams and drinking water, they also diminish the health of our reefs and ocean resources. This bill is important to Big Island, and all the testimony that we've received from Hawaii County has been in support, as well as from Department of Health. It has no impact on existing cesspools, but it would mean that new construction and new development would have to choose options for handling wastewater that the scientific community overwhelmingly agrees are safer for the environment and human health and it would also protect residents who are purchasing or building new, uh, new properties or new homes from a future financial burden in the likely event that the nation or state at some point requires all existing cesspools to be converted to better and safer options. Thank you very much, Representative. Any further discussion, members? Again, we're on Stancom Report number 876. If not, thank you. We're going to move on to Stancom Report number 877, Representative Thielen.